Hey guys, so I know you haven't seen much of me lately, and a big part of that is because I've been really just trying to get this Next.js e-commerce course done, and it's finally done, so I wanted to make a video just announcing that, and I released it on both traversymedia.com and on Udemy, and I'll have a link in the description with a code for just $15. So this is a 22-hour long course, and it's one single project. So it's definitely my biggest project by far. And I'm going to give you a quick demo in a minute, but we're using Next15 with React 19, so it's definitely the most up-to-date course you'll find on Next.js. And we use TypeScript. A lot of people have been asking me to use TypeScript in my courses, so we're using that. We're using Zod for validation. We're using Postgres with Prisma. Um, libraries like React Hook Form. We're using Shad CN, uh, Shad CN UI for the the UI components. So lots of different technologies, and the idea is to create a production-based project because I am actually going to use this for selling my wife's art products and showing you how to kind of mesh all these technologies together to create something that gives you the the fundamentals that you'd want in an e-commerce website. And I had a friend of mine work with me on this, Basir from codingwithbasir.com, and he specializes in e-commerce sites using JavaScript frameworks. So we created this platform and decided to create a course with it. So this is the, the shop. It's called Pro Store, and we have, you know, basic search and, and filter. So I can search by categories and price range, sort by lowest, highest, etc. All right, we have a full uh, review system. So obviously you have to be signed in for that. I'll add this to my cart so I can change the quantity. So very dynamic. And then if we go to the cart, we can proceed to checkout, which of course we have to log in. And we have a callback URL up here so it knows where to bring us back to. And we just keep on going through the process here. Shipping address, payment method. So we'll be integrating both PayPal and the Stripe API. So we'll learn how to how to use you know PayPal sandbox mode and Stripe test mode. Click continue. Shows us you know our products and our information, our price. We place the order and then we go and we check out and purchase it. And of course you, you know with Stripe you have a kind of a dummy credit card number you can use to purchase. So once you do that, you'll have access to your, uh, you can go to your profile and then your orders. That will list all your orders. Um, we have dark mode as well. Dark mode, light mode, system. And there's a full admin area. So here you can see all your recent sales, your revenue, a monthly sales chart using a package called Recharts. We can manage our products, our orders, users. Um, you know, if I wanted to make a user an admin, I could do that. Obviously, only admins will see this area. But yeah, so there's, there's quite a bit of features. We have, like I said, a full review rating and review system, so we can leave a review. And again, the idea is to show you how to use all these technologies together. It's not so much just the Next.js course. I have my Next.js from scratch course that is more to learn that specific framework. This is like... This is about the project, not about the technology. Um, so I want you guys to, to know how to do this stuff, whether it's the authentication or whether it's the, the PayPal integration, whatever it is that you want to use in your own projects, I want you to be able to learn from this. And I'm going to include my premium docs in both versions, whether it's Udemy or traversymedia.com, which is like a full written version of the course with all the code samples, explanations, and everything. And for a 22-hour long course, you can imagine how long that took me to, to type out. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you know, you check it out if you're interested. As far as future courses, I think this will be the last React-based course that I'm going to do, at, at, in, except for updates. I will be updating my React front-to-back course very soon. Um, but, yeah, I want to move on to, like, to Vue.js, I want to do some other languages, some Python, some PHP, maybe get into some AI stuff. So I have a lot of plans for 2025. And if you're interested at traversymedia.com, I'm also running a sale for just $99 for a whole year of all my courses. All the courses that exist now and any course that I create within the next year, you'll get by using the code VIP. All right, so if that's something you're interested in. 
But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I will be back very soon with more crash courses and content, so stay tuned.